happy Friday, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You are in the right place. We are still talking about Lone Wolf and Cub, the box set, and we are on film number five, Baby Cart in the Land of Demons. And you don't want to miss this. And then stay to the end because I got something personal we need to talk about. So don't miss that either. We'll be right back. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, Squeaky. You know this big deal about all the white balloons the other day? When people were, you know, saying they saw these white balloons flying around way up high and some were shot down and whatnot. I saw one when I was driving the other day. No kidding. I followed this thing for 200 miles. It was insane. And then I realized it was bird poop on the car window. <laughs> oh, it's Friday. That's right. The work week on the way, out the door, the weekend, right outside, just moments away. <laughs> How's everybody doing? Hope you're doing great. Hope you had a great week. Hope you're looking forward to the weekend. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. We appreciate it. In the description down below are all our links, things that we use every day that we think you might like too. And there's promo codes and all sorts of stuff. So please check it out down there. All right. So film number five. That's what we're talking about today. Film number five in the Lone Wolf and Cub box set. Let's take a look right now. Lone Wolf and Cub, Baby Cart in the Land of Demons, 1973, one hour, 29 minutes. Absolutely no nudity in this one. Yay! <clears throat> and very little, if any, language. I don't remember, but plenty of blood, plenty of sword fights. It's all there. Five warriors challenge Ogami to duels. Each holds a part of information needed to complete the assassination of a mad clan leader. Directed by Kenji Misumi. Written by Kazu Koiki. Sutomu Nakamura. And you know who it stars. <laughs> I'm trying to read those today. <laughs> so I really like this one. The storyline was, like, it wasn't just straight A to B. It was all over the place, and he had to get through different stages of battles to get the information he needed to, to have everything he needed to assassinate someone. It was just phenomenal. It was beautifully shot. It looked great. It had some really good assassinations or attacks in it that were just fun to watch and I was on the edge of my seat the whole movie the whole movie it was great this is in my top three so far I really liked the way this story played itself out now at the end of it <laughs> I, I don't know what to tell you everybody's dead except for the rightful heir if you will in this area so like all the best warriors they had in that area well, they're all dead. So, I don't know where it's going to go from this point. <laughs> but don't worry, y'all. The rightful heir is, is in their place. Right? But other than that, <laughs> everything about this story was fantastic. It, it shows the resolve um, with Cub's mindset. And it shows how proud Lone Wolf is to see that the two of them are on this path where they've accepted death. So at any point, if they die, they're cool with it. They're fine. No problem. They're not uh, afraid of it. They're not worried about it. They don't let it stress them. None of that. So it just is a great storyline of these two warriors that every day are in danger. And I, I thought this was one of the best of the of the set. Now, granted, I've got one more film to watch. And then I'll be done with this box set. And it has been 
a great ride. It was nice to see one that didn't have nudity in it. Just in, like I'm not a prude, y'all, but sometimes I want to watch a movie that doesn't have nudity in it. That's it. Like it's, and yes, these are from the '70s. I understand. I'm just, you know, sometimes when I want to watch a samurai movie or samurai film or samurai anything. I don't need to see boobies. That's all I'm saying. So, there's that. Now, you do get to see Cub's bare bottom in this. Just so you're aware. Because he gets flogged. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't really count that as nudity in the scene. It's just a flash of it in, in passing. But when I say nudity, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. There's no... Like, assaults on women, etc. So, it is. Alright, hey, look. I liked this one a lot. This one was fun. And this has just been a great week. You know, we're discussing the new miniseries Shogun on Wednesdays. So, that was nice. And then to move into this box set and continue that journey. It's fantastic. I don't know what we're going to talk about on Monday. But, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> as always if you're feeling down if you're feeling alone don't stress the numbers are at the end of this and each and every one of our videos don't suffer silently reach out to someone now real quick I want to <clears throat> I want to respond to something it doesn't happen often but it happens once in a while somebody will be in my comment section and they might have some crappy things to say. Understand that regardless of the type of person that I am, I am keeping this channel family friendly. I'm not going to get into some big discourse and let you get my hackles up in the comment section. You can say whatever you want. If I think it's bad enough, I'll just ban you. I, I don't care. For the most part, I like to keep the comment section, an open dialogue. But I'm not on here playing like I'm any of these other famous YouTubers. I mean, Bushido Blues and I have a relationship, like a friendship, outside of making these videos. And I know Gary, or Ner Nerdrotic, but not well. I've never talked to Drinker. You know, I'm a fan of his. I've bought some of his books. I, I like what he has to say. But this is my channel, right here mine and I run it the way I want to these are my opinions and all I'm doing is looking for good entertainment and if I find something that's bad entertainment I'm going to tell you but I'm not just going to be a consumer and just take whatever comes out and be like yeah fantastic at least I got to watch something no no it's not how we roll here I'll tell you if I think it's good I'll tell you if I think it's bad and then I leave it up to you to choose. I'm not hating on anything. Now I can tell you that I think something's awful. And if I do think that, I'll say it. But you're not going to, you're not going to come at me in the comments section like that I'm doing something wrong by having a YouTube channel, my friends. I'm always up for a conversation. But you don't know me. Not like that. Not personally. And I don't want to be any of these big YouTubers. I'm doing this for me. I love this. I love entertainment. I love cinema. Like it or not. This is me. Everything I show you right here. Th this is me. This is the real me. So I just wanted to make sure you understand. I'm happy to have a discourse with anyone. Even if we disagree. We can have a conversation. We can agree to disagree. But you don't know me like that. Like coming in throwing, like throwing knives. That ain't going to work. So keep it classy. Okay. Let's have a conversation. Yeah, sure. But I'm not trying to be anybody else. Don't get it confused. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to talk about entertainment. I'm happy to talk about the differences and things I like and things I don't like. And share with you things you should watch. And I don't understand this thought process that evidently I'm hating on everything. Have you watched my videos? 
there's not been a single Indian cinema movie I've, I've talked about that was awful. Not, and there's been, I'd say 88% of the stuff I talk about is great things. They're entertainment, great entertainment that I, I say, hey, I recommend this. So at least watch 10 of the 390 some odd videos that I have up before you assume I'm just hating on everything. Because it's obviously not true. All right. Just wanted to get that out there. Get that cleaned up. Um, an open book on here, you guys. I'm just looking for good entertainment. That's it. And I've said that from day one. But I'm going to call it out if it's awful. Don't you worry. All right. I hope we see you back on Monday. Looking forward to it. Going to enjoy the weekend. Thanks, as always, for being here. New subscribers, old subscribers, we love you all. All right, from Michael the Microphone, Bob, squeaky chair in the back, and this big fat nerd. See you on Monday.